Welcome, Welcome to, to the Break, Break Room podcast. podcast. I feel weird today. <laughs> I literally don't know why. We were fine like five seconds ago. And then I like, I don't know, this like whole like bye week. Now I'm like <laughs> a little what thrown do, off. What do I do? Okay. I like actually forget. I don't know how to podcast. I almost forgot that it was like <laughs> today was the bye week. And then I was like, yeah. fuck. Well, last week, it, flew. it was weird because last week, I think because we had that like conversation of like, okay, we have time to unwind. Mm-hmm. Last Friday, I was like, I feel like I could film. I was like, yeah. like, I'm not, you know. And then today I was like, oh my God, I forgot we do that. <laughs> like, oh wait, we do that? Yeah, I was like, what's a podcast? I and then now that. we're here and I'm like, wait, what? I know. <laughs> I'm like a little lost. I literally have like nothing. Like normally I write everything in my notes. I'm like, mm-hmm. I have things to talk about today. I have zero. I'm boring today. <laughs> Me too. Nothing's happening. Besides your, that... your fun experience today. Let's talk about that. That's oh, something. okay. Guys, so I got a pedicure. This might be, like, normal to, like, everyone else. But I don't really, like, do things like that. Me like, neither. my first pedicure... Pedicure? Pedicure. <laughs> pedicure. 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 <laughs> I can't talk. Pedicure was... And now I can't say it. Okay. <laughs> Whenever I got my feet done last, <laughs> it was... The first time was, I think, two years ago. Okay. First time ever. Really? Ever. Yeah. You never got your toes done? Never. Like, I've always done it myself. Oh, okay, okay. Like, I thought you meant, like, like just in general. No, I was like, like, imagine, like, my feet are actually <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> like, <laughs> when I was younger, I used to get it done, but I haven't in years, actually. Yeah. That I, was, like, what I did with my mom, because I oh, get my toes. So yeah. I used to, like, again, I would get my nails done every now and then, but even then, I've never been one to just get my nails mm-hmm. or get a pedicure. But anyway, so I went two years ago, then I went again... Like, I think a year and a half ago. It was for Valentine's Day, so I try to go yeah. during that time because I try to, you know, it's Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. So, I did that. It was fine. Then I tried a new place. This was recommended to me. <laughs> and this is someone I trust. <laughs> someone with um, good opinions. <laughs> good opinions. I trust her. She's our manager, but also she's just really real. And I was like, I need to try a new place because, again, I don't really do this. So I wanted recommendations. Again, I trust her a lot. (laughs) But she really did me dirty. (laughs) She she really did me dirty there. (laughs) Not intentionally. It was not her fault. But I don't know who actually. I'm going to name drop. (laughs) Miss Sunny. (laughs) Miss Sunny. (laughs) That's your name. I remember her name. I remembered it because I want to write a bad review. I hate her. Go on Yelp. I'm going to go on Yelp. I'm going to go off. What did Miss Sunny do to you? She really hurt me. (laughs) She hurt my feelings. Like, was there blood? Like There was blood. (laughs) That actually, there's always blood for me because Mm -hmm. I destroy my fingers. So I'm always bleeding at the nail salon. But the toes? The toes is different. You don't really bite the toes. The toes can really handle a lot. Yeah. Like, they're meant to walk a barefoot, I feel like. (laughs) Like, we are made to do that. Yeah. Handle terrain. (laughs) with bare feet but she literally made me bleed oh my god at the cuticle so this woman sunny didn't soak my miss sunny yeah miss sunny didn't soak my feet and i'm like okay keep in mind i go with my mom my mom's feet are submerged in water but mine are not but you know whatever so i'm still waiting for like her to fill up the water i'm like okay it's coming soon okay whatever she starts filing at my nails. When I tell you she's gripping my feet with like, she's with both hands as if she's going to like, I don't know what. Take a gonna, bite? Like take a bite, take a little nibble, break my foot. I really don't. She was manhandling my feet. And then I was like, oh, okay. The grip strength on Miss Sunny is insane. <laughs> but what is Miss Sunny doing? I don't know. CrossFit? <laughs> Probably. She can't do nails. So That's for sure. She has to do something else. But, yeah, gripping onto my feet. Then she starts with the, like, cuticle cutter thing, digging into my feet, into my toes underneath. Oh, my God. Again, my feet aren't, like, gross like that. Like, I keep up with my feet normally. But she's digging, like, as shoveling. she's, like, yeah, <laughs> literally shoveling in my feet. And then I'm like, oh, to the point where I'm like going back because she's so deep into my nail. Like she's ripping it from the skin. And then I was like, oh my God. 
and I'm like trying not to make a scene or anything or yeah. be dramatic because first of all, I just don't like that. Yeah. Second of all, my mom is right next to me and they're doing everything that they should be doing on my mom. So I'm like, so okay. she's getting the royal treatment. <laughs> me, on the other hand, no. Miss Sunny was playing you. She, I don't know if she knew me. And, like maybe I did something to her in a past maybe, life. Maybe she's our hater. Maybe she didn't like, maybe. I don't know. She doesn't like my vibe. So she's like, I'm coming for your feet today. But yeah, so digging underneath my nails, around my nails to the point where I, where I started bleeding. I'm like <laughs> begging to at least have this water make me feel better. Just hot water. I still never got hot water. And I'm like, what is going on? Then she like, my pants started like rolling a little bit. I forgot to mention this to you. Rolling down a little bit. So she like grabs my pant and it goes, ah, like pulls up my leg. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay. Like I'm strapped in. Oh my God. She starts making conversation with me and I'm like, oh, like, hey, how are you? That's where I got her name. But then she just kept asking me like weird questions. So I wasn't really trying to engage, engage in, yeah. and I was also in pain. So I couldn't really talk. But you could tell she was she wanted a tip. And then I was like, okay. So she keeps doing my nails. She does the gel. When I tell you this is the patchiest gel. And it, this is white. Like, I know white can sometimes be a little difficult. Like, you have to wait yeah. maybe for the second coat for it to be, you know, yeah. good. So I'm like, I'm really, like, trusting the process. I'm really trying. <laughs> it, no, I'm never going to trust in the process ever again. So, yeah, it didn't work out. When I tell you the gel was, like, thick. Oh. And again, I had white nail polish. And so on the toe? On the toe. Thick is not. No. It was thick, white, and then the only, th like, and then my cuticle was bleeding on it. Like, red. <laughs> pink <laughs> okay <laughs> on brand yeah and then she asks me after she's done with the polish after the polish is done oh no she already cured it whatever i'm thinking okay i'm fucked oh incoming call oh. Oh. maybe it's her <laughs> it's miss sunny <laughs> it's miss sunny but now we're at the point where i'm like okay like i think i'm done i'm just not never gonna get my feet yeah scrubbed. no then she goes oh do you want to get your feet scrubbed or whatever they call that and I'm like, yeah, I really would. I really would. And in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, the water is coming. But also my feet are done. The polish is done. Like, I'm ready to go. So I'm like, okay. So what are we doing now? The like water is coming at the end. Maybe she works in reverse. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, and then the water starts going. I'm like, oh, okay. Then she gets the scrubber. As it's filling up, she actually scrubs my feet before they go in the water. Mm. Cool. And then... When I tell you again, gripping onto my foot and is greeting it like cheese. Oh. Like she's holding it like literally ah, ah, <laughs> like going off. And then she's like shaking, like doing this. She's like, uh, like, <laughs> like she was like so mad that day. I, I was like, know. I need to take it out. And we're just like, ah. I, and but, like, again, my feet aren't. I get it if my feet were absolutely disgusting. Yeah, like corn chip toe, right, like, like the whole thing. Gross, but I promise you guys, they weren't. <laughs> so then, because I got like a pedicure a little while ago, so they like did all that. But anyway, I'm off track, but yeah. So then she's doing that to me. When I tell you, I think a chunk of like my foot like <laughs> could have fallen out into the water. <laughs> like cause she was scraping it so, so hard. And I was like, you know, whatever. Then she finally like does a little like rock on my leg and I'm like, okay, this is like finally the rock. This is the therapy. We're getting something, <laughs> something warm. Okay, this feels kind of nice. Kind of nice. <laughs> and then after that, she just put lotion and I was done. And I was done 30 minutes before my mom. And then your mom was just getting the royal treatment. She really was. The she was getting a, like a massage, everything. She was living lavish and I was in pain. And then <laughs> after we leave, I try not to tell my mom, but my mom can tell that something's off. When they tell the total to me and my mom, can you just guess how much this was? So like two gel pedicures. Mm -hmm. I actually, I never really get my toes done, so I don't know how much, but I would say just like... like imagine. Maybe like thirty five each. Mm -hmm. So like Cause that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. We paid almost two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. Huh? I think I almost shed a tear just like thinking about Did it. You get no. Just our feet done. Almost. What did they charge you? Because to that's soak my feet and to get them scrubbed, the thing that I thought that they were supposed to do was like an extra charge. 
I've never not gone to a nail salon where you're not like yeah. Just at least have water on water. your feet. You have to have water. That's like the point. Yep. Isn't it? Because it like yeah. softens like. Yep. So you can really get in there and not hurt yourself. Yeah. So almost two hundred dollars. It was like one seventy five. Without the tip. But like, then so, how much was it normally? I don't know. Because it's was obviously more than fifty dollars for it to even get to that point. Yep. Plus the fifty like that that had to have been like eighty dollars each. Keep in mind, I forgot to even mention before it seemed like a little weird because the guy was like making too much conversation with me and my mom and like asking us a lot of questions. It was a little weird. Even my me and my mom were like, okay, like kind of yeah, we're like, good. Like at first we had to wait a little while, which I was fine with him telling us. Yeah. And we're like, take your time, take your time. I, I was like, I'm just with my mom. We're good. He offered us water and everything, so I'm like, okay. But it looked like he was using that to just like scam you, scam us. Hmm. Yeah, and I was like, okay. So maybe the water bottle charge is in there somewhere. The M&Ms he gave me, maybe they were poisoned. I don't know. But um, yeah, and then Miss Sunny finished and left to go eat. <laughs> and I see her chowing down in like the corner. And I'm like, okay. Once I find out the price, I, again, I audibly gasped. I was like, but I tried not to show because my mom was there. And I was like, okay, because I was going to tell her after what was going on. And then my mom, such a sweet angel, she paid for it and I'm like she really did not have to and no. I was like hey, like and I was on the verge of tears so I think she did it because of how sad I was yeah and then afterwards it comes to the tip <laughs> so then the guy tells me oh, okay yeah if you want to leave a tip they're just eating so uh, let me go get them I'm like no it's okay like don't worry about it because the one that did my mom's nails was still out and I was only going to tip the person who did my mom yeah. And my mom was going to tip her, too, because my mom got everything done, and she yeah. looked great. Yeah. Who did me? No, you hurt me. <laughs> Miss Sunny? I miss Sunny, and I am so nice to people. Like, I am yeah. so patient. I don't care. Like, I'm like, again, I was quiet the whole time. I was trying to be nice, but I'm not tipping you. No. Because that was bad. Plus, it was almost $200 oh for something that I hated God. and made me want to cry. So then afterwards, I hand her, and the woman can see me from the back, Miss Sunny, tip the person who did my mom's nails and she runs and she's waiting for her tip as she's standing next to the lady that did my mom and then I look at her and I turn around and I leave with my mom and I can hear her like talking and whatever they were speaking with the man like expecting me to give her the tip and that's the only reason why she walked out that is insane yep especially after <laughs> damaging after your feet yep that's and insane I go in the car and I cry Oh, absolutely. Like, I'm sobbing. I would have, too. My mom felt so bad. Aww. Like, actually, the first thing, because I, I got a pedicure today, best experience of my life. This is the nail salon that I looked up, and then I was like, okay, I've gone there for a couple times. Everyone loves it when I do my nails there. Yeah. Like, I love it there. They're so funny. They're so nice. And then I, but I've never done a pedicure there. So, finally went, got it done. They did everything that they were supposed to. Everything. My toes look great. And then it was $50. Which is what I would assume. Uh huh. Because, like, I would think, like, I regular thinking, polish is 35. I did gel, so 50. That's what I was going to say. I was, like, thinking anywhere from 35 to 50. I yeah. Because I'm not really familiar with, like, yeah. feet. Me neither. Then. Until, yeah. Until then. But, yeah. yeah. So, for getting everything without anything extra, for the scrubbing or water <laughs> or anything. I'm actually very glad that you had a better experience this yeah. time. And the first thing I did was I called my mom. And I told her, and she's like, oh my god, yay. Like, she was so Aww. happy because I had that damn gel nail yep. polish in, on my feet from the last time. And I just oh wanted, oh. God. And then when I went to go get my polish taken off there, they go, you didn't do your nails here, did you? And then I was like, no, I didn't. They go, okay, good. Because it was bad. The fact that they were like, good. That yeah. This wasn't us. This like, wasn't this us. was going to get fired if it was. Yes, exactly. Oh my god. That's how bad it was. That's actually insane. I was embarrassed. Oh my god. Like, I was so... It took me, like, I think a month to get over that. Oh, absolutely. It was so annoying. And the fact... Oh my god, I could have gotten my hair done for that amount of money. It's true. Like, it was just... Uh. I think that everywhere, any service is, like, overcharging. And same with, like, yeah. the tipping culture. Yeah. That is something else. Mm -hmm. The fact that, like... It's, like, obviously, like, servers, baristas, like, that kind of thing. It's, yeah. like... I'll always I'll always tip because they're not you. getting much I've always tipped like my um like nail people mm -hmm. or my like hairdresser 
But apparently now, like the money that they're making, it's like not expected to tip them mm-hmm. or something. At times are like also changing. It's weird. Yeah. For example, um, I was with my friends playing tennis yesterday and they told me that I think their brother went to get the, um, what's it called? The unlimited wings at Buffalo Wild Wings. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the server was not having it with the brother. And he ended up. Oh, I am a gold. Sunny's coming after us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's sunny. It's important on my on my line right now. <laughs> I don't know. They're coming up as spam. It's her. <laughs> it just oh, one's a voice. Now. She found me. That's my <laughs> it's Miss Sunny. It's my threat. <laughs> but um, yeah. So the server was not having it. Like basically is chucking the like thing of wings on their table and says, "Here are your fucking wings" or something like that or something with the word "fucking" in it. Which, first of all... An F word was thrown from a server to someone eating. You never... To a guest. Curse. No. To a customer. Yeah, and they didn't tip. Because why on earth would you tip that? I wouldn't. Like, again, I go above and beyond, and I like to say, oh, like, I'm too. a nice tipper. Like, because I get me it. Me too. I'm like a 25% tipper. I love all, to tip. Always, always. Mm-hmm. And i Because it always made... Yeah. Because <laughs> it made my day when people yeah. would tip me really well when we worked off tips. It's so. also why I never go out to eat. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm like, oh, I'm like, I know oh. I got to tip them good. I like start thinking about everything. I'm like, oh, they did this. They like said hi to me. Let me, yeah. let me give them my wallet. I'm like, oh, I can tell she has this whole section. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, she's really literally going through it. it. Yeah, like you could just tell. And situations like that, I've never not mm-hmm. tipped. I think there was like maybe one time that we left like a penny mm-hmm. or something, which is yeah. kind of an asshole move. But like when you have such a bad service, it's like, come on. One time when I went to a Valentine's Day dinner, this was two Valentine's Day ago. We go with the same friends every year. Yeah. And then we went to this really shitty restaurant. Uh I mean, no. (laughs) Restaurant was really nice. But on Valentine's Day, I don't know what on earth happened, but my friend's been here, but at a location closer to the shore and they had one here. So we were like, okay. She's like, I love it. It's so good down there. So we made plans to go. Mm -hmm. The restaurant was really nice inside. Beautiful. Like, we dressed up. It was nice. The service was so ass. Oh, God. It took forever to get our food. They gave us the wrong food several times. Like, we Mm -hmm. had to go back and forth. Like, all we had was... The only good thing was the bread. And the service was shit. It was just such a bad experience. And then... (laughs) the (laughs) My best friend's boyfriend, which is also my friend as well. But he wanted a tip. (laughs) <laughs> be better <laughs> literally wanted to write be better or do better on the tip line <laughs> be better and then not tip at all because it was expensive it was like an expensive meal yeah for what for I'm sure yeah and then my friend is also a server she's like no you can't do that you can't do that yeah. and then we were talking yesterday about the same story and then she's like you know what i really wish you didn't tip and this is coming from a server because it was so so bad it, it like you know it's bad when the server is saying that was bad mm-hmm. because like as like a old server like you will defend them with yeah everything in like you. i leave everything organized oh I'm my like, god don't, don't any it doesn't you don't even have to be like a waitress but like any food service a anything. barista anything like, it's also similar to the point that like when like, you we're see all a the trenches out there like it's okay babe there there is no like i am like excuses excuses i'm like mm-hmm. they didn't do anything wrong mm-hmm. they're having a bad night. happened a lot to us when like if we go to like a coffee shop or something, you like never want to say anything. I won't. And it's funny because I won't say anything if it happens to me. But if it's like for like you, for example, I'm like, guys, this was I like, actually be, not I'm nice about it, it. But I'm like, I will always say something. I'm always for someone else. So 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 nice. Like I literally like if someone was to like spit in my drink and I noticed, I would go. But I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm I wouldn't sorry. go up. I actually wouldn't. Yeah. And but if you force me to, which has happened several times. Yeah. You're like, oh, I, I would be like, to. I am so sorry, but <laughs> there's actually like a loogie in my drink. <laughs> and the thing is, like, I'm so nice about it though. But if it yeah. happens with me, like, if I get the wrong food, if I get anything done, like, yeah. I am always like, I'm so sorry. Like, it's okay. Like, take your time. It's busy. Like, don't even worry mm-hmm. about it. Like, it doesn't matter. I'm always like that. I'm like, like, no, 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 it's okay. It's, okay. it's, it's me. <laughs> it's my fault. I somehow did that. <laughs> Want me to go um, help you run? I can, <laughs> yeah, I can help you really quick. Like, don't worry. Just give me an apron <laughs> or something, and I'm good. But again, t- that's why I. I like to tip, but I wasn't tipping Sunny. No, no, absolutely not. It's also gotten so out of hand. Like, okay, I'm not sure if this is like an unpopular opinion, Mm -hmm. but why is there a tip option for like Chipotle? Because isn't that they get paid like $17 an hour first? Yeah. Also, their job is to just do that. And not only that, their tips from my past job, their tips get distributed between 
everyone working so it's not like there's like a it's just you or like at the coffee yeah. shop it was like a smaller amount of us yeah so like you would get a big portion of it because again it's like what five of us five, there. Yeah. you're working with a staff of like 15 people Just, like, so that, that be split between everyone at the end of their paycheck is basically nothing it's just like you go somewhere that's like they're not doing anything mm -hmm. by any means that like deserves like an extra tip yeah you know no yeah that's true and like I'm not saying that they don't, they're not like hard workers at like mm -hmm. say Cordoba or Chipotle or anything, but it's mm -hmm. like, so why am I like, tipping you for like just doing the scoop? Just like, like that's flipping what a screen. That's your job. Yeah. Some of them like don't even. Or, or like just the cashiers. Yeah. Like not even, you know, and I'm not sure how that whole thing works, mm -hmm. but there are certain places like I can't even think right now because there's so many times that I've gone to like random places and they're just like tip and I'm like, for what? What'd you do? That wasn't the service. <laughs> like, we're going to start going to, like, retail stores. They're going to be like, tip. Tip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For what? Yeah. Checking me out? Yeah. Like, it's actually gotten so out of hand. Or even, I think I went to, like, just a really, really small bakery. Mm -hmm. and I don't even think they had coffee or anything. Just, like, a couple, like, pastries. And I think that they were asking for tips. And, like, I worked in a bakery, but it was also a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. So, like, you were barista and working that. So, it was kind of a lot. So, like, yeah. we got tipped and we also didn't make good money so it was you know yeah. but if you're getting paid $17 an hour <laughs> to scoop rice and beans in my bowl and that that is the requirement that's all yeah why am I tipping you why for that, what? that's the job mm -hmm. <laughs> yep what I also don't like is the fact that people are now like expecting it like more so like being yeah more so like being grateful for it yeah that's what I don't like like running out from her break to get wait for a tip practically I I wouldn't doubt that she would have chased me to my car. That's crazy. To get a tip. No, That's babe. That's insane. Heard, yeah, like I don't like that. Like, cause then no. it makes me feel kind of like shit. I'm like, okay, so you weren't really like that's you're not actually a nice person. No, exactly. Like you just want money, which I mean I get it. People are working for themselves. Everyone has their reason behind everything. Yeah. But like, <sighs> some people just don't. Some people like Miss Sunny just don't deserve it. Just don't deserve the tip. And I'm just not going to. <laughs> no. So I'm sick of the, the screen. <laughs> yeah. Stop flipping that on don't me. Don't flip it. <laughs> it was awkward it. at my old job it. flipping it. Oh yeah. Well, it was actually funny because when I went to your old job, mm -hmm. I took out because I will always always tip. Mm -hmm. I took out two dollars mm -hmm. just to like throw in their jar. Yeah. And I hear them say like, "Oh, we're just gonna ask you a couple of questions." And it was like before they were gonna flip it, and I dropped in the in the jar, and then one girl like giggles, and the girl goes you're good <laughs> and they just like you could just tell that they were like oh no 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 scratch like, yep. <laughs> like don't flip it around oh my gosh yeah I that spiel the worst though is when they're like you're close to them and they can mm -hmm. see you click no yeah <laughs> and they're like, and you're like I used to never look I was like oh yeah I used I'm to like the same looking thing. at the window well when I was a barista we had the exact same like the square system mm -hmm. the classic one that you turn around all yeah. the percentages we could own like the baristas we didn't get that tip mm -hmm. option it was only for servers. So, like, if you were dining in, you would pay at the front counter, which is, like, where mm -hmm. the baristas and everyone were. So, the baristas would ring you up. Mm -hmm. And we could only turn the screen around for, like, the servers. Like, oh, do you want to leave a tip on the card mm -hmm. for your server? If we were just doing, like, we could do, like, literally a $100 order of, like, every single pastry in the case, five coffees, takeout meals, like, put it all together. And yeah. then we weren't, weren't allowed to turn the screen around mm -hmm. for a tip. Oh my god. Yeah. And then they'd be like, oh, can I tip you on that? And like, we weren't allowed to. And if they did, it would go to the servers. It wouldn't go to us. Because like, there were some people that were like, oh, can I leave a tip on that? And we'd be like, yeah. And, and it just did not go to us at all. <gasps> oh my god. And it was like, you had a lot of requirements. Yeah, like those tips. It wasn't just like a croissant and a single coffee. Like, there was like lines out the door, like yeah. insane. Yeah, like the tips at my old job went to every single one of us. Yeah. So it would be like one or two people. I think like one or now one <laughs> let's be real <laughs> one person in the kitchen and then like one like three up, up front three uh -huh. or four up front and that would be it on a good day so like we would get like a big chunk of it and people would tip every single time like the regulars yeah. for example someone that <laughs> we know that goes to our job now but she would tip heavy yeah every time but when i tell you i love those tips i miss the tips that, well that was we the used to get them in cash my my job the tips were horrible oh like God. when i tell you the word like if you're ever going to work somewhere to get tips do not ever go there mm -hmm. they also like there were days so like i would work the morning shift so there was like maybe three of us max mm -hmm. that would work that shift 
it's like seven to three, maybe seven to four, depending on whatever it was. Yeah. And so we would open, we'd do everything. And then at the end, you would obviously pull out the tips between the three of you, go mm-hmm. home. Then the owners were like, we're actually going to split the tips throughout the, the whole day. So like when you guys leave, also the morning was the craziness. Like I worked the night shifts. Mm-hmm. You would, there would be like maybe two tables for the servers. There'd be no one at the counter for right. the baristas. Like it was dead because it was also coffee and pastries it was yeah. crazy during breakfast like what like i'm not even kidding when i say lines at the door mm-hmm. people will be banging on the door at like 7 a.m it, we open at that 8 that was the same thing there it was freaking it madness. was insane in the mornings mm-hmm. so we would make like people put 20s 10s like in the jar and then at night you would get like maybe eight dollars mm-hmm. like split between us in the morning it was like 30 right. 20 they started splitting between all of the shifts to make it <gasps> a fair pay and i was like well the morning people this is their full-time job the night crew it's after high school like yeah. it's a little bit different mm-hmm. and we think they were like literally stealing our tips because a whole week worth so like 40 hours of tips you'd get 20 bucks mm-hmm. we're like we were making That's... that every day and now we're making 20 dollars for two weeks it was like bad and when that shift oh, came over, that's, like, kind of when I moved to, like, the server side. Yeah. I would work, like, a nine-hour serving shift open mm-hmm. all through, like, breakfast, lunch, moving into dinner. I would do everything. I'd have, like, 12 tables at once because mm-hmm. all the other servers would call out and I'd be by myself. Mm-hmm. And I would make, like, maybe $20, $30. I broke 100 three times. Oh. And I was busting my ass. There was mold there, so I was always sick. Yeah. I was literally sick, and it's actually really ironic because when I just checked my phone to see if Miss Sunny was calling me, Mm -hmm. the um, a bachelorette party that I'm in, we're like planning the bridal shower, everything, and we're gonna do like a really cute theme for the shower, and so we want to get like you know some breakfast like brunch type of food. Mm -hmm. (laughs) They sent a link to the place I used to work for their catering, and I was like. I didn't get a chance to answer, but I saw that. You don't want to get sick before the wedding, babe. "Mm -mm." I mean, the food's good, Mm -hmm. but just don't. Mm -mm. (laughs) Let's not do that. No. There's a lot of trauma there. Yeah. Not worth it. I still can't believe it. That's a job that you should be tipping people. Yeah, I agree. (laughs) If you're going to make your nails bleed. And not even soak my damn feet. No. No. Could have just gone home and thrown some. Yeah, I probably would have done a better job. Probably. It was bad. And I had that on my feet for. Oh my god. Until today. Oh my god. But I'm a new woman. You're new. I'm new. Can't show the feet for free, but. Not for free. I'm thinking you should sell those feet. I really think they're they're worth selling. They are. Like, I. The money makers. I've literally (laughs) always wanted to sell my feet. I've always wanted to. I've talked about this since I think graduating high school. I've been saying this for literal mm-hmm. years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I've i made so many accounts on, like, websites for yeah. my feet. And I've never, like, gone through with it. I've, like, gotten to the point where I'm, like, literally, like, taking the photos. But I've just never, never had a sale. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but when I were, I worked at this gym, um, like, my first job ever. And I was younger. So, like, all the things that happened to, like, my older coworkers, like, I never experienced because I was like 13 so like all the guys hitting on the girl like that yeah. I just never experienced anything I would just go clean the treadmills and I wouldn't say a word to anybody I was yeah. like petrified but this one girl I worked with she was a little bit older than me mm-hmm. she was in high school um very pretty so I think that like a lot of the guys there obviously okay so <laughs> the one day she starts telling me how she's like oh you see that guy over there and it's like this jacked like probably 20 something year old guy oh my god looks like a douchebag yeah. He was asking her for feet pics. He had a foot fetish. Oh my god! And he would DM her, like, can, can she send him my way? <laughs> and he would pay her. Uh huh. Oh and she was god. like, I send him feet pics all the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I was like, how do I? Then, apparently, this goes around that he has asked several of the girls working there for feet pics, and girls that work out there. I think I might get a job there. <laughs> it's yeah. I think he still goes there. Oh my god! And it's like this whole thing, right? Yeah. So then, so everyone knows this guy. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows him. He's like the feet guy. Then this girl that I grew up with, like, met when I was literally born, grew up with her, went to school with her my entire life. She starts posting on Snapchat with him. They are dating. (laughs) And I'm like, oh, my God. (laughs) I'm like, was not expecting that. She is with this guy. I think that relationship I think they were together for like two years or something 
that's still like I think he cheated on her <gasps> did like some like someone else's like, feet better like <laughs> Like crazy, crazy shit. Like I remember, like hearing some of the drama. I remember because yeah. like she also worked out there, mm-hmm. so like we would catch up. Like, hey, how have you been? Because we were like cool. You know what I mean? Right. We grew up together. We knew each other, so we would we would chat. We weren't like really close or anything. Yeah. But we would just talk about everything, and she would like tell me the drama, and I was like, mm-hmm. Did you know that <laughs> he's paying all the all my coworkers for their feet? What or did you say? Or did you say? I don't remember if I actually told her that, but I think she knew. She, yeah. I don't know. It had but to it's come like out. I've just never like when you was think of someone who would buy f- feet pictures. Mm-hmm. Like, do you think of like the frat guy with muscles? Like, weirdly enough, yeah, really, I do. I picture like an old man. I, th- I think there's like no one between them. Actually, like, you're it right. has to be the big Jack dude, or, or it has to be like a really and the old Jack guy. dude that's like an asshole. Yeah, like not like a friendly guy. No, because I'm no. like this guy was like level ten a asshole. A douche, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he. He wanted the feet pics. I just can't believe that he was like paying. He would pay her like 50, 50 bucks a oh piece. Oh my god! Some people pay like hundreds. Yeah. If you have like really good feet. Mm-hmm. I know someone's sister that I think does it or does something like that, really? and she makes bank. I need to like. I always said I would have. I don't even care. I would make an OnlyFans. I would do everything. I wish that I was like. And yeah like a sexy person like do you know what I mean because like yeah. by nature mm-hmm. I am just not like sexual mm-hmm. you know like there's girls that just are they're naturally H-rady. flirty they're like that. their bodies just like are I don't even know how to explain it like mm-hmm. they just do things and it's like smooth and mm-hmm. they just radiate like sexy right I give like awkward stiff <laughs> like do you know what I mean like yeah if I made an OnlyFans I would be a laughing stock oh my god it would look like it would literally look like a grasshopper <laughs> like in lingerie <laughs> they'd oh be my like god what is that oh my god I have been wanting to do this for so long like OnlyFans I would do it I don't care yeah Gabe well, also, doesn't want me to have, you don't have to go like yeah. Full, like I don't even care. Yeah. I really wouldn't care. Like you do it all. Full, like I literally would do it You're all. You're making money. Yeah, I don't care. Money yeah. money. I don't care where it comes from. Exactly. But um what was I gonna say? But Gabe was like, I don't know about that, only because his only reason is because <laughs> I have tattoos. And I was like, Oh, so if I didn't have the tattoos, it would be fine. He goes, Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Kai he literally tells me he's like you should do it Mm -hmm. all the time he's been begging me to sell my feet gabe he's like sell them you need to you need to he's the one like that's been pushing profit yeah he's He's like like, as women of our children one day (laughs) they need to make money (laughs) they really need to know how to hustle yeah yeah well that's the thing like i hate i hate people that like just hate on like women for doing that it's actually crazy how pop like how common girls doing Mm. OnlyFans is though yeah because there's so many people I know that like they're just on OnlyFans yeah I think it's great like again if you were blessed and you were just born hot or maybe became hot who cares profit off of it make some money off of (laughs) it make some money and it's not like easy either like people that work and like it's it's you gotta like you have to also, like, just trying to create the content in general, right. I feel like, is something, like... Just taking care of yourself all the time. Like, yeah. it's hard. Yeah. I get tired after, like, five days at the gym. <laughs> Me too. So, I'm like, I can't imagine putting all the camera. time. And also, like, I don't know if exploiting is the... Yeah, like, exploiting your it's body. It's hard, like that, yeah. Like on, you're so exposed. You're so exposed. So, like, you... And you probably, like, I feel like that can kind of get to your head, too. Yeah. Like, trying to be like, oh, look, I don't look good. I don't look and, good. Because yeah, the whole point is looking good. Exactly. But then again, I feel like most men will pay for anything. They won't tip, though. No tip. <laughs> That's a girl's thing. <laughs> it really is. But, no, yeah, I would do it. I would sell my feet, like, and I 100% respect people that do it. Me too. Because, again, like, I want to do it. I know. I just haven't because I'm a baby and I have tattoos and I don't want everyone to know. I don't think we have much else to really yeah. talk about. I don't know. Just our nail horror stories. Yeah, that was, <laughs> re- yeah. So, I'm never going back. Not Miss Sunny. Maybe Miss I'll Sunny, take, this is for you. Maybe I'll take a <laughs> screenshot of my Yelp review. I think you should. I'm a couple months late. Okay, it's fine. But I was still there. Then maybe she won't suspect it's you. Right. Or exactly. do you even care? Let her know. Let her know. Let her know. <laughs> this one's for you, Miss Sunny. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, guys. <laughs> See you in the bye week. (laughs) (laughs) See you in the bye week, guys. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye. Peace out.